Well, the slip road here at Junction 2 of the M32 is still closed due to fire damage. The fire broke out at around 10 o'clock on Sunday evening with many of the people in this area reporting an explosion near to the Tesco Extra in the Eastgate Retail Park, which is just behind me. One resident who I spoke to, who lives on Silverton Road just across the way here, told me that they heard a boom, something that sounded like a car backfiring. And because of just how loud that sound was, lots of people came out of their houses to see what was going on. And of course, they, they saw the huge flames coming out of that area over there. Now, it's not exactly clear what caused the explosion. Avon Fire and Rescue said they're going to be returning to investigate, but they have said that the fire was in an open storage area with crews coming from all over Bristol to help tackle the blaze. Now, the damage to the slip road, which I'm on right now, was deemed so severe by structural engineers that it had to be closed to vehicles, causing traffic chaos on Monday morning. Now, Highways England have said that there are likely to be delays for some time and have advised drivers heading for Bristol from the south uh, that they should take the M32 northbound to Junction 1 at Hambrook and return via the M32 southbound to Junction 2 at Eastville. Junction 1 and the M32 southbound are expected to be heavily congested during morning rush hour. An impact is also expected on the M32 Junction 1 and the M4 Junction 19, that M32 interchange, as well as the roads around this area. Now, the Highways Agency have also said that severe delays are expected right across the area and drivers are advised to check before they travel and leave lots of extra time for their journeys. Now, it's not clear, unfortunately, how long it's going to take for the area to return to normal, but like the Highways Agency said, it's going to cause a lot of trouble, especially at those peak commuter times. So if you can avoid the area, then do, and we'll, of course, keep you updated on when we can expect it to reopen.